Okay, today's a special day. I picked up a brand new 160 gig uh, Sony PS3. Um, now it was on sale. It's not the it's the original slim. It's not the super slim. So what's happening is that I believe they're getting rid of the old slims to make room for the super slim. The super slim is a top loader. If you haven't seen the PS3 super slim, it is a top loader. So top loaders are a lot less to produce. It costs uh, manufacture much less and um, you know it would be feasible for Sony to replace them all and keep it at the same price so they would make more money right so um, that's why this was uh, that's why they were selling these out I got this for $150 I paid more for my original uh, PS3 uh, slim uh, than I did with this one so that's why I picked it up and it's 160 gigs my other my one I had before was uh, 120 gigs so it's a bonus there um, and uh, yeah you know they're, they're clearing them out Black Friday so definitely um, you know pick one up if you can and here's the Netflix there it's brand new so 160 gigs and here's the back okay of course, it only does everything, of course, uh, except being uh, PS2 backwards compatible. Uh, wish, I wish it was again, but it, it's not. Hopefully, you can see all these things. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to open this up. Here's the top. Okay. And here's a brand new seal on this. So, I'm going to open this up and show you what comes in this contents okay so you know if you decide to pick this up it's good because it's on sale or because it's black friday or christmas or uh, any other reason like that um you know or you wanted to replace your slim or your uh, ps3 fat uh, you definitely want to uh, you definitely want to uh pick this up I'm, I actually like the slim better than the super slim the, the super slim looks kind of cheap and if uh, I don't know if you've ever felt it it feels cheap so um, compared to the slim it, it feels like crap so here's the opening I'm gonna open the box okay so standard stuff in here what we have in this here is here is the DualShock 3 Typical DualShock 3, and we have, oh, hold on here, we have the USB cord, and power cable, and a composite uh, cable. I think that's all it comes in with here. No HDMI cords, uh, nope, and on this side, we have some garbage, uh, ESPR ratings, and uh, the manual stuff, and that's about it. So let's open up the console here, and of course that is the bulk of the box there. Yep, that's the bulk of the box. I have to admit the uh, boxing is a little bit different than the one I had before, so. Less manuals for sure. And of course, a PS, uh, PSN um, advertisement here, PlayStation Plus, okay? Garbage. So, uh, you can join PS Plus if you want. Um, but I don't. Yes, you get new games and things, but I rarely go online anyways, so. So, here's the new console. Well, new for me. Alright, at least you still have the power on and the eject button still there. Um, with the new one, it's a top loader, right? So you don't get that eject to USB ports. Right there, and side panel, the backing, hopefully you can see that, 
Yeah, you got your Ethernet, you got your HDMI, you got your optical out, and you got your uh, AV cord and the power. Okay, and that's about it. And the bottom. Oh, there's a new PS3 logo. I didn't even realize there was a PS3 logo down there. So that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, please post them below and subscribe to the channel, okay? I will be doing more unboxings and new more reviews on certain things. If you, if you want some more reviews or some questions, please post them below and I will respond. Good. And uh, don't forget, subscribe.